the worst, strongest, most pungent, painful smelling gasoline you've ever smelled in your life. And I actually don't mind the smell of gasoline personally, but like not in this way. The worst smelling onions that actually like irritate your eyes still a little you've ever smelled in your life. It was so bad, like so bad. I can definitely understand why it works. Hello, Hatmike here, and I just wanted to say real quick, if you've been enjoying my content, please remember to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and follow me on Twitch so you can always catch us when we're live and see more content. Also, if you are new here, welcome in, and if you're enjoying the video, please remember to like it because it helps me out a lot. I also post funny clips and other things on TikTok. All the links are in the description below, and thanks again. Now, let's get into the video. I, I have, I have stories. I have stories. I have story time crazy crazy day yesterday so i go to trivia every wednesday you guys have known this for a while that's why i don't stream hang out with me i hang out with some friends it's a good time but uh they started a while back a competition to win a playstation 5 god of war ragnarok edition um over the course of eight weeks and my team got first place the first two weeks and fourth place last night so we're still in first place for the ps5 that was crazy it was also the day of the kansas city chiefs winning the super bowl parade so people at the bar were incredibly rowdy they had been partying since noon so that was wild also there's a lot more people um than there usually are so that was that was crazy um then you know what it's it's just gonna be easier if i change this over here then all right um it's been such a wild day. I'm eating on stream. I hate doing that, but I'm doing it because I, I'm running short on time today. I'm working my shift. My shift's sort of normal. Not too crazy. It was kind of slow. But, um, I... My dog wakes up in the middle of the night. And she, like, needs to go outside. So I'm like, okay, I'll take this dog outside. So I take her outside. And I have a baby gate now in my doorway because uh she was on medicine for an ear infection that made her extra hungry and so we've been having to feed her a little more but she started like trying to dig in the litter box a lot so we just put up a doggy gate in the doorway to like keep her from doing that um so i step over the baby gate and then i take her out and then while i was on that side of the baby gate i was like oh you know i'm gonna make myself some lunch because it's about the time i eat lunch anyway it was like approaching 3 a.m um so i was like okay I'm going to do this um, since I'm already on this side of the gate, and that'll be cool. I make my food, uh, let her back in during that process. She goes back to bed, and then I, like, come in here, set down all my food. It takes a couple trips because of the baby gate. And pretty much after I eat just a, a few bites, she wakes up again or gets up again, and she wants to go outside again. And I was like, ugh, you're freaking killing me, dog. So I go to let her outside, and as soon as I let her outside, I see her just, like, sprint to the right side of our deck and i was like that was weird she usually just goes straight out and into the yard so then i open the door and come outside um and she like sprints on the deck which is covered in ice and it's just like cartoon slip and sliding as she like tries to drift around the corner and go off the deck to chase some animal and uh i all of a sudden get the overwhelming smell of like burnt rubber so i was like it smells like there's a fire near my house and um she and then all of a sudden the things underneath the deck basically right underneath me and she comes back and she's like raising her paws in a re weird way i eventually realize she's like trying to get something off her face and head um but not until it's too late. Uh, I thought maybe it was because it was really cold. And sometimes when it's really cold, she doesn't like the way the ice feels on her paws. So I let her back in real quick. And then I'm like, oh, God, there's a fire near my house or in my house. So I, I'm like running all over the house in the middle of the night in the garage, in the basement, all over looking for like something that's knocked over, something that was left on, an outlet that's on fire, something. Can't find anything. And then I finally realized that might have been a skunk. And then I like look out the back window just in time to see this skunk just like slip out of my yard 
So I wasn't directly skunked, my dog definitely was. And then we spent like an hour cleaning the couch, cleaning the bed, mopping the floors, bathing the dog. And then like Mia has spent a lot of today um, putting like baking powder, baking soda, one of the two on everything just to try and get it to smell normalish again. We've actually made a lot of progress. Um, it, it smells borderline normal. It's just any room my dog's in just smells a little bit like it. And it's probably just gonna be like that for a while. Um, so that was my absolutely insane night in my first encounter with the skunk kind um, up close and personal. Uh, zero out of ten would not recommend. Can't stress this enough. It smelled, it smelled like, it smelled like the worst, strongest, most pungent, painful smelling gasoline you've ever smelled in your life. And I actually don't mind the smell of gasoline personally, but like not in this way. The worst smelling onions that actually like irritate your eyes still a little you've ever smelled in your life. It was so bad like so bad i can definitely understand why it works and why it make like makes all other animals just like this is not worth it <laughs> oh my god what was crazy is i knew there was something under my deck so like um if i wouldn't have been so focused on the fire i really wanted i was like this close to grabbing going inside grabbing my phone for a flashlight real quick and going to see like if there was a cat or something underneath my deck if i would have done that i would have gotten sprayed directly Ooh, ooh! i would have been upset you guys i would have been so upset oh my god oh, i can't even imagine so that was my that was my encounter with the skunk kind um yeah absolutely wild thanks for watching guys follow me on twitch to join us live like and subscribe and i will catch you later